chapter 18 punctuation marks learning time the marks which are used to restrict a sentence in a correct order according to the uses are called punctuation marks the following are the principal punctuation marks 1 full stop 2 comma 3 semicolon 4 colon 5 question mark 6 exclamation mark 7 dash 8 hyphen 9 parentheses or double dashes 10 inverted commas 11 apostrophe let us know about them in detail full stop or period the full stop or period represents the graded pause and separation it is used one at the end of a sentence example a honesty is the best policy b greed is curse c open the door d water is life two after abbreviations and initials example ba mla usa comma it represents the shortest pause and is used one to separate a series of words in the same construction example a ram radha rakesh and ravina are waiting for you b delhi mumbai chennai kolkata hyderabad etc are playing in ipl Remember, a comma is generally not put before the word preceded by end. 2. The two mark of a noun or phrase in a position. Example A. We all celebrate holy the festival of colors. B. Rohit, the class captain of 8th class, was absent yesterday. 3. To mark the nominative of the address. Example A. I have a question, sir. B. I tell you, madam, I have informed her. 4. To separate two or more words that come together. Example A. Health, wealth and prosperity go together. B. Pankaj has motorcycle, car and jeep. 5. To separate each pair of words connected by and. Example One should be true and honest, humble and cheerful. 6. After a nominative absolute, example it being holiday, I am going to visit my elder brother. 7. To mark off two or more adverbs or adverbial phrases coming together, example wisdom is after all the most important thing in life. 8. Before and after a participle phrase provided that the participle might be expanded into a sentence and is not such in a merely qualifying sense. Example, he won a gold medal, Mohan a silver medal. 9. To separate a subordinate adverb clause from the rest of the sentence. Example, if you know about that incident, tell me in detail. 10. To separate short coordinate clause of a compound sentence. Example, A. I observed, I manipulated, I decided. 11. To mark off a direct quotation from the rest of the sentence. Example A. Manas said, I am busy now. B. The boss said, get out of my sight. Semicolon. The semicolon indicates a pause greater than that indicated by the comma. It is used 1. To separate that clause of a compound sentence when they contain commas. Example, he was a true, honest man and we all admired him. 2. To separate a series of loosely connected clauses. Example, reading makes a full man, speaking a ready man, writing an exact man. Colon, the colon marks a pause still longer than that represented by the semicolon. It is used 1. Before enumerations. Example, three qualities are honesty, integrity and loyalty. Two, to introduce a quotation. Example, my teacher says, honesty is the best policy. Question mark. The question mark is used instead of the full stop after a direct question. Example, A. What is your name? B. Where do you live? Remember, do not use the question mark at the end of an indirect question. Example, 1. He asked me what my name was. 2. She asked me if I was busy. Exclamation mark. The sign of exclamation is used after interjection, exclamatory phrases and exclamatory sentences. Example, A. Oh my God. B. May you live long. C. How pretty. D. What a shame. Dash. The dash is used 1. To indicate an abrupt stop or change of thought. Example, I worked hard, I won and got success. 
you to resume a scattered subject example relatives friends and companions or left him as he will in mysteries hyphen the hyphen is a shorted line then the dash and is used to connect the parts of a compound word example commander in chief one man army sister in law kind hearted man etc parenthesis parenthesis or double dashes are used to separate from the main part of the sentence a phrase or clause which does not grammatically belong to it example a she gained from heaven it was all she wished a son and a daughter b jack jill's brother bought the tickets inverted commas inverted commas are used to mark the exact words of a speaker or a quotation example a he said i am reading b they said we are singing apostrophe the apostrophe is used one to show the omission of letter or letters example a don't go near the tiger b she can't do it c you are wrong d he will win the match two to show position a it's ram's pen b that is priya's book capital letter a capital letter is used one to begin a sentence example a my name is ashok b he is a nice boy two to begin each fresh line of poetry example twinkle twinkle little star three to begin all proper nouns and adjectives formed from proper nouns example aman delhi april sunday the indian etc let me answer can you recognize the following punctuation mark 4 4 degrees titles etc example mbbs becomes sir madam etc 5 at the beginning of a quotation or direct speech example a my uncle said unity is strength b my brother said do your duty properly practice time 1 punctuate the following sentences a his bad habits are smoking drinking gossiping roaming outside till the dead of night b oh that's all right sumit replied cheerful c on thursday the education director is coming to school d what an easy answer said manish was it said by a kind examiner e i am sorry i can't come with you f they ate drank and danced with joy it was such a great occasion g the teacher asked the girl why did you not show me your exercise book h there is a slavery that no legislation can abolish the slavery of caste i your brother would give you little thanks if he were present to hear you make this office j my uncle who is in delhi is a doctor k to make a kite you would need some thin paper to stick some glue and some string l god said see the light and follow the path of honesty and truth you will find heaven on earth